Hello everyone, this is Sean Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's lesson in of Marvel Designer, we will learn how we can create custom wrinkles by using the option uh, which is sculpting. Okay. Now, what I will do here at this uh, moment is that I will just go and choose this three window option. Okay, and this window, I will go ahead and choose sculpt. So as soon as I will choose sculpt, you can see that the shirt will become monochromatic. If you wanted to uh, uh, like keep the colors, so you can go in this uh, like to this option. So you can choose uh, like wireframe surface, or you can keep the monochromatic if you want. But it will stay monochromatic. There will be no color there. Now here it is uh, like this option is to show the uh, internal lines or not to show the internal lines. Here, this is uh, for the top toolbars. If you can turn it, if you want to turn it on or off. Now let's see how we can create some wrinkles over here. These are some options. First, on the top, we have wrinkle. As soon as you will click on it, you will get the properties in the property editor if you have opened it. So you have simulation preset. I'm using CPU high quality. Size is around, uh, you can say 86. Okay, focal uh, point is basically the surrounding. You can say fall off, okay? Uh, that is six, which is quite smaller. So if I will change it to 20, you can see it has become bigger right now. Now, realistic, how realistic you want the wrinkle to be. Layer on which layer you want the wrinkles to be. You can add as many layers you want. So layer one I'm working on and I can create uh, some wrinkles here okay, just by clicking, dragging like this. Okay. And just pulling off just like that okay and once you are satisfied with the result you can go more often or you can turn off the simulation for now once you are ready and you like the wrinkles that you have created then you can turn it on okay now, a rest, what you can do is that if I will go to layer two and I can make the, another wrinkles, which will not affect the wrinkles which was already created. Okay. Next here, we have release. Now, what the release will do, it will make the wrinkles that we created uh, fade away or smooth. Uh, you, you can smooth them up or you can uh, reduce their strength. After that, we have the sculpt. This is the main option here. Sculpt gives you strength, how strong you want it to be, size, focal, spacing, and depth. So with this uh, setting, if I will go and draw, you can see just like in ZBrush, when you draw wrinkles, you can draw the wrinkles and it's appearing here as well. You can draw as you want, as much you want. Okay, your own custom wrinkles and then if you want more depth or if you want it to be inverted you can just choose here and it will go inwards okay i will undo that next you can add an image to it these are different images suppose if i will take this image and start making wrinkles so it will take that drink alpha and create the wrinkle just like in ZBrush, but it's not that strong like ZBrush. It, it won't do anything that uh, ZBrush do. It's not that close enough, okay? Apart from that, here we have, uh, you can add your own uh, custom image. I have uh, imported this uh, Marlos Designer logo. And with that, you can also create wrinkles. And here you can see how the wrinkles are creating. <laughs> Apart from that, we have here smooth. So anything that you don't like it or you want to smooth that part, you can smooth it up with the smooth tool. Okay. Then we have here grab. What it will do is that it will grab any part and you can pull it outwards, inwards, wherever you want to pull that. Okay. 
usually it's it works better for the corners like this corner you can pull them apart okay so you can see the way i'm uh like put like grabbing it it's appearing there then you have stamp in the stamp also you can choose any image you want from here okay like suppose this uh, one and oops you can go to the part where you want that wrinkle just click and drag it it's just like click and drag in uh, like with the brush in your uh, z brush it's, it works in the similar way okay or you can take your own image okay and that will appear so if i zoom around it's there but as soon you will uh, kind of uh, like simulate it, it will be gone. So before doing that, what you can do, you can brush over here with the brush tool. Okay. And partially you can solidify it. So it will remain as the way you want it. So you can solidify with the partial brush to keep, to maintain these. Because once you will press the simulation, it, it, uh, these will be gone. Pinch. Basically, it pinches the areas, just like the name suggests here. If I pinch this part, it will become closer. Okay, the, the wrinkles itself. Okay, now suppose if I will simulate it now, everything will be gone. Okay, so that's, uh, you have to be careful about that. So if you are creating any wrinkles, okay, let's undo this with the Turn off the okay and reduce the size uh, the strength and size a bit so you can see I can press alt on my keyboard to invert okay and if you like this simple what you can do go here select mesh brush right click solidify now if i will uh, simulate it so you can see that those wrinkle will perpetuate it will uh, remain as it is it will not change so i hope you have uh, you have understood the purpose of the sculpting tool inside the marvelous designer and if you uh, uh, enjoyed this video find it useful so please click the bell icon and also hit the like button and if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful so take care guys and uh, stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.